Greetings and welcome to this Brightline Construction Cocoa Tunnel update. This project is in Cocoa, Florida. This update brings it all together. After delays and long days, the Granite and Petruco companies are ready to push their tunnel across Highway 528. All traffic was moved to the westbound lane so the eastbound lanes could be removed and the tunnel moved forward. The 55 gallon drums contain red grease which will be used as the lubricant for the anti-drag system. It is spread on the concrete and the metal sheeting is laid on top of it. The sheeting is then anchored to the blue beam structures, which are in turn anchored to concrete pads and to ground anchors via cable. On top of the metal sheets, layers of dirt are added to build up the roadbed. When it's high enough, gravel is added. Guys on the lower left appear to be working on the restraint cable attach point. On the left is the retaining wall that's kept the highway from collapsing. The next morning, asphalt had been put down and it was starting to look like a roadway. So far, only a single lane has been built for eastbound traffic. The next morning, eastbound traffic is on the new lane. Preparations are being made for the next tunnel push. Section 3 is also on the move towards the other sections. With eastbound traffic off the lane, the retaining wall is being removed. Much progress has been made on the new westbound lane. Note the red areas where the grease is spread. Check out this red hydraulic claw pulling up this sheet metal. Later that day, the new lane is getting gravel. The next morning, westbound traffic has been moved to the new lane and the demolition of the westbound lane begun. All is ready for the next push. It's going to take almost all the blue struts they have to finish the move. Tunnel section three has been moved to less than 10 feet from section two in anticipation. Note the two guys walking up the hill next to the anti-drag system cable.
Last on, first off, chunks of asphalt are being stripped away before the dirt is removed. Here we go with the last day for this update. It's now Friday, March 26th. Sections one and two have moved, but still have a bit to go to clear section three. The westbound lanes are gone and digging is happening this morning. I got distracted by this run by of 434 and 435 light. They're headed to Titusville Yard. They cleaned out the yard and headed north about 10.15 a.m. with a long train. Back to the digging, I came back this afternoon for another look. That wraps up this update and answers the question, how are they going to do that? Please like the video and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.